Okay, today we're going to be going over my uh, everyday carry. I'm going to start off from left to right. I carry two water bottles in my left cargo pocket with this lighter. It has duct tape wrapped around it. I carry uh, in my right cargo pocket tactical self-defense pin clipped on to a uh, this is exactly in the position where I would carry it in my cargo pocket, right at the front of the thigh. And then uh, I carry this wallet constitution here. I got a lot of useful stuff up in that. We'll go over that. I got a uh, monocular here. This is very useful for a lot of things, seeing uh, unsavory characters coming along and other stuff like that. I carry a tourniquet in the uh, far back right of my right cargo pocket. And then uh, I carry in my back pocket, my back right pocket, this notepad right in the rain notepad, and this mouth guard. In my left back pocket, I carry this medical kit of a chest seal, quick clock gauze more rolled gauze inside of it and a hemostatic forceps. I carry this uh, Smith & Wesson Tanto blade knife. This is the Tanto style knife blade. It's tougher than a regular uh, curved blade. This also has a glass breaker on it and a seat belt cutter here where my finger is moving. I'm gonna open it up. things having trouble locking sometimes yeah there we go listen for the lock otherwise you can cut your fingers off very strong knife though all right uh, we're gonna go over what's inside this uh, individual first aid kit here I have a pack just like this folded up over inside of itself Let's open it up. Got your chest seal, hemostatic uh, sterile forceps. These lock. These are uh, clamp lock forceps. I gotta find a way to get these access quicker. I guess that's fast, fast enough. I'm gonna spray these with the uh, rubbing alcohol again before I do anything else. Want to put them back in my pocket just to keep them sterile since they're not exposed to the air. Want them 100% sterile. So yeah, these locked, and so they can uh, close up a uh, artery if it's exposed and too short of a uh, limb left or too short to a of a breakage to where the tourniquet can't get high up on the limb. So yeah. put that off to the side to be sterilized after then here we got the quick clock gauze which will uh, stop bleeding five times faster than this apparently this is rolled gauze that I've had for a while now I'm gonna go over the contents of this little constitution booklet real quick on the front page I have a uh, wipe for my monocular here. This is an eight times monocular. Go to the next page. We got some uh, twine from the inside of paracord. More twine from paracord. Got a match uh, striker from a book of matches. I do carry matches in here. Empty page. I have this uh, infrared uh, reflective thing here because uh, police choppers do sometimes follow people because they are looking for someone so I need something to uh, flash at their well not flash at them but they'll uh, reflect back so they can tell them kind of friendly these are for my butt here <laughs> butt wipes emergency butt wipes I will not use these for anything else well, I've got some notes in here more matches. I uh, got a can opener. 
safety pin, and a paper clip. Thumbs up. And then I have more matches. Got some sandpaper in here. That's got its uses. I got a get out of jail free card here. Along with some more matches. I got a uh, fortune cookie here. Got some hemp wick, more match strikers, and uh, this is emergency uh, fire starter synthetic. Got some more uh, twine from the inside of paracord. I've got some souvenirs here my uh, grenade pin and uh, smoke grenade pin from paintball. I got some uh, Bactricin. Uh, antibiotic uh, ointments over the counter ointments I have some uh, paracord here I have a plastic bag for emergencies like keeping my phone dry 